we just got a delivery. We got a delivery. What did we get? It's gonna be perfect for vlogging. You wanna vlog our day? Okay. Where's your coffee? Right here. You want to ding to a good morning? Aw, ding. ding. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews and we talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. That way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. I almost said we're two crazy campers. Like, this is kind of weird. Like, I'm still trying to get in mind, like, which video are we doing? Are we doing two crazy kiddos? Are we doing two crazy campers? How do people manage multiple YouTube channels? I don't, I don't know. know. We better figure it out. So we are going to vlog today. We have a lot going on because it's Thanksgiving week. It's Thanksgiving week. And you think that you're kind of off the hook because it's not Christmas. Right. But there is a lot that goes. Tab with this guy, the toy. There's a lot that goes into Thanksgiving week. You've got a lot of shopping to right. do. And you're looking ahead to any sales and deals that you might get for shopping after immediately following Thanksgiving and right. then there's Cyber Monday. Yep. And now more than ever, we need sales. This has been a tough year for a lot of people. Well, we need sales because I today, as soon as we're done doing this intro, have to go wake up Anthony and go down to get a new air conditioner for our bedroom because I broke our air conditioner. And I we, mean, it was broken and it was old, but I broke it more. You broke it. You broke it. Hello. Good. Good we, morning. We break stuff good, but good it morning. is a huge expense that we were not anticipating. No. Right at Christmas time. Tabitha wants to say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You're going to need to get down though, because like you weigh 120 pounds. We can't stay in the chair. And we can't sit in the like, chair. Uh, so can you get down? We've got to scooch to give it room. Scooch down. Here we go. No. All right, get your toy. Sit. Where's your toy? So, distractor. I'm gonna enjoy a cup of coffee. Okay. I'm gonna wake Anthony up. I'm gonna attempt to clean my office because somehow I'm the most disorganized person, but only in my office. I'm organized everywhere else. I got poop to clean up today. You gotta to clean up poop? I gotta clean the chicken coop. There's a lot. In the We're background. drinking. I like this flavor. Bones Electric Unicorn. Fruity cereal. This seriously tastes and smells like fruity pebbles. I just like eating you the like beans. You like to eat the beans. I like to eat the beans. So I'm sorry for my teeth afterwards. Can we talk about what's inside of our whole food bags? Oh, and I'm having this. Although it doesn't go well with this, I'm like addicted to this new perfect keto flavor. I'm it's just really, tasty. really, really addicted to this new, this the cinnamon toast. I like it better than the salted caramel, which is kind of hard to believe. This would probably, this cereal, this coffee, would probably go really good with vanilla. I bet you would go good with vanilla. Can somebody please tell me I'm not the only person that eats the beans, especially from Bones Coffee? Is there somebody else out there eating beans? You wanna see what we got? Is it just me? So today's gonna be a full day of eating. So, I'm starting off my morning at 8.30. You have a unicorn on your watch. I don't know, somehow it changed from my, my what would, uh, whatchamacallit, what Chris said was the scary bald face to now it's a unicorn. And I don't know how it changed. Please don't change it. I love the fact that you have a unicorn on your watch. I like absolutely you love You like it. that I have a, I feel, a, a unicorn? I feel like I'm married well if you have a unicorn on your watch. Okay. So here's what we got. So I'm having a scoop of the Perfect Keto Cinnamon Toast MCT powder so far. I'm having black coffee. We got some frozen broccoli. And uh, we're gonna make some broccoli. We're gonna make some loaded broccoli Let's today. Let's show you how we load it. We're gonna make loaded broccoli, but I also bought some fresh broccoli. But fresh broccoli down here right now is expensive. super expensive. We got money for this. 
this was a dollar ninety nine. Hello, like a dollar ninety nine. Like that's insane. This whole bag, which is the only part that you want, right? Just the florets. Oh, the other pot of coffee's done. Was three fifty, and this was a dollar ninety nine. But I do like fresh broccoli because I like a crunch. Do you like your broccoli with a crunch? Or do you like it mushy? I'm curious. So here's, How do you like it? Here's the thing. It has to be just right. Broccoli is a just right Especially thing. Especially for loaded broccoli, which is what we're going to have today. If you're cooking it, it's like the equivalent of an avocado. There is the perfect thing, and then there's, oops, too much, now just throw it out. But when it comes to real broccoli, I mean, I guess this is real broccoli too, but I mean like fresh broccoli, I love the stumps. I do too. I slice them up thin. I like that stump. And there's some like, fiber in there. I like the stumps, but I don't want to get the, the lips and buttholes broccoli. Because then it's only stumps. Then it's all stumps, but the stumps are not good like fresh broccoli stumps. No. It's, it's like terrible. Right. It's almost like celery. Yeah. So I like broccoli florets or I like everything yeah. about this. Yeah, so... Broccoli is expensive, so we're getting it frozen. Don't be afraid of frozen. Actually, a lot of times there is more nutrients in frozen than there is in fresh because as soon as they cut it off of the stalk, yeah. it like starts looting some, losing some of its vitamins and its nutrients and stuff. Whereas when it's frozen, they flash freeze it, so they preserve a lot of that stuff. And just in case anybody's aware, you want organic. This isn't even organic. I, this is right. They call it conventional broccoli from Whole Foods. But when you buy anything that says 365, it's organic. So a little tip, like just buy the frozen from Whole Foods. When you started to say losing, it sounded like you were saying looting. And all I could think of is like a broccoli that's like trying to take nutrients from other broccolis. <laughs> a looting broccoli. Okay, so yeah, we're going we're gonna to make... I think this makes a better load of broccoli because when I make load of broccoli, I do like it to be a little bit crunchier. Yeah. But the last thing you can have is mushy broccoli when you want to have loaded broccoli. We had a... Where it's almost the version of like broccoli and cheese soup. I, I don't feel like I'm talking out of turn with this. When we had our Halloween get together, my mom would totally amen this. We, we had such... She's going to kill you. We had this such... This is probably not a good idea. We had such good food, but my mom turned her back on the broccoli that she was cooking in the oven and it it went to like not even mashed broccoli. Oh, it was, it it was, was disgusting. It was almost not salvageable at it all. It was almost broccoli and cheese soup without the cheese. And and me and her were just like eating it because it's like, you don't want to waste it. Like how many recipes is, they're like a total fail, but you're like, I don't want to waste it. Right. And you're eating something that's just like, ugh. Good culture. This stuff is awesome. I love this stuff. I'm addicted to it. I have got to finish my cottage cheese recipe because I'm spending too much money on good culture. Because it's not cheap. this stuff is like $5.30, but it is so good. I didn't get the double cream. I'm trying to actually cut back on the amount of fat that I'm eating right now. And this one is 110 calories for a serving. A serving is a half a cup. And I usually do a double serving, but now we made some of our yogurt, so I'm doing like one serving of this and one serving of our yogurt. But you have to be careful with our yogurt because our yogurt is very high in calories and fat. Like you, one little cup, like you're a couple hundred calories on that. So what is funny to me about you and cottage cheese is you like a sweetener. Person. No, you like a sweetener with cottage cheese. Sometimes. And I like no sweetener. And to me, I feel like we are at that point where people will be with watermelon. Are you, you know, I was team no salt the watermelon and you were team salt the watermelon. I am team no added sugar to cottage cheese and you're like, it's okay to have added sugar. Like, well not sugar, but like a sweetener. Yeah, to cottage sometimes cheese. I want sweetener. Sometimes I want sweetener when I make it a flavor. Sometimes I make it a flavor and it's like literally like three drops of liquid stevia or a liquid monk fruit. I never add any granular sweetener to Are it. Are you team sweetener to cottage cheese or team no sweetener to cottage cheese? You know where it comes from? Growing up, my, one of my favorite treats that my dad would give me was the cottage cheese that had pineapple in it. Really? Yeah, I used to buy Breakstones cottage cheese. It was the, back then they didn't have the little cups, the individual like you scoop it. It was just a canister and then on it was like fruit on the bottom cottage cheese and it was pineapple. And I always loved pineapple. Isn't that funny? 
Okay, so we got. I definitely grew up in a time where you added fruit cocktail to anything. A, a can, oh yeah, a can of fruit cocktail made on, anything on, on, fancy on cottage cheese. Like that's how I liked it. So we Ugh. got some burgers. And sometimes I just like this. It's just convenient. Ever since we lost the ability to get our burgers from Sam's Club, the frozen ones. Don't remind me. I'm barely getting over this. The Whole Foods Cowboy Beef Burgers. These are jalapeno because I love jalapeno in anything. Why do they stop making and cheddar. those? And then this is Rachel. They have a Gorgonzola one that's really good. It is flavorful. And then these Cheddar Jack ones. I so like we got ones. these. We're going to have burgers and eggs today. That makes me happy. And we're also, I'm thinking we should do a separate video on this, but we got this from Nicole Burgess. The Unbun. Well, I mean, she didn't send it to us. No, she didn't get idea. it from her, But she talks about them all the time. And I know Gail asked yes. us if we could review them. Let's unbun this. And uh, so I was looking online at the ingredients. The ingredients are really good. I'm excited about it. We're going to unbag the unbun. So we're going to have these, but we're going to do a separate video uh, within the day of a five things review of the unbun because I, these are on sale right now. Should I make this into a bun? So no, we can I'm not a big fan of that. So we can unbun? Yeah. So you get to go clean poop. Yay! <laughs> I'm going to go to Miami. Yay! Yeah. I think I'd rather have the poop job. You know what? This is one of those days where we're really looking forward to our meal because the the work that we have to do, not something to really look forward to. Because then on the trailer, I have to go cut a hole in the roof. Are you going to help me? No. I don't want to see it. I don't want to know what's happening. I'm going to install an antenna so that, because we're going away for my 50th birthday trip next week, and I need to make sure we have good internet. And what? Well, yeah. And then I also have to install a bike rack. So, busy day. Now this is a true farm fresh butt nugget. Oh, ooh, it's warm. It just came out of the butt. Ew. Can I sit in your lap, Mom? Would yes, you of course. Yeah, and we're, not, not a problem. We don't know how to do video, and Joe left. <laughs> so, like, we're like, I don't know how to do lights, camera, action, nothing. So it's just on my phone. That's all I know how to do. So we are going um, shopping. Who are we? We oh, oh me and you. I know, but shouldn't you introduce me? Oh, I'm sorry. So this is my mom, Sarah, which I we talk a lot about. In fact, in our Harbor Freight video for Two Crazy Campers, we were sort of making fun of like a giant remote that we thought you would like <laughs> because it's giant. Of course. Giant. But anyway, so you are a rock star of Thanksgiving. What do you like about Thanksgiving? Why do you like it so much? You're really good at it. Because it was important to my family when I was growing up. We were very poor. and How poor was, were you? I was so poor. I lived with my clothes in a suitcase. <laughs> you didn't have a dresser. I didn't have a dresser until I was like 9 or 10. And somebody came over to the house and the girl was like, why are your clothes in a, in a suitcase? And of course, being an honest child, I looked at her and I said, well, in case we want to go somewhere in the middle of the night, I'm already packed. Oh, my gosh. Like, that's a thing. Like, well, that, that might was, be a thing. It was Well, it was embarrassing. But for Thanksgiving, we always had our family there. And my mom was an awesome Southern cook, even though she never said she was. She always said, you know, she'd keep people alive. But she really was a great cook. And it was such a tradition in our family that we were all together no matter what you were doing and we came together on that day so it's very important now everything has changed and we started doing it on wednesday so that you and joe yeah. could go shopping for the kids for all the black friday sales which was fine and then this year we're doing it on Tuesday, Tuesday evening because now grandchildren have their own schedule exactly. and you have to accommodate them right. so you do put the a in accommodation but we do know to get our Heinz over to absolutely. your house because we're gonna family if I have to come spank you right yes absolutely you do not want this woman after you no, you don't what what is the best brand of turkey oh butterball because you're very brand loyal when it comes to turkey yes because I've tried the others and they just don't they just don't they're not moist and I cook them in a bag she because, said moist be, hmm. sorry grandkids because my father cooked them in a bag my mother, I don't, I think she just cooked them in the oven, but he put them in one of those turkey bags and 
because you're cooking it in the bag, it A, doesn't dry out, but the juices congregate in the bottom of that bag and you don't, you make great gravy with it. But now that we don't use flour, you can pour that, just that beautiful broth over anything and it makes it moist and delicious. And then you're not adding anything. So you are now in your 70s, although nobody's gonna believe it. Cause you honestly- 71, let's don't say 70s. Cause that could be anything. That, right. that could be 79 and like <laughs> right. tomorrow I'm 80, but no. you don't you don't even remotely look like it no, at you. all. But you had many Thanksgivings, not keto. Mm -hmm. And now you're keto. Are you missing and like feeling like you're lacking a lot? No, because I think the benefits of feeling better, looking better, and the rest of the family, most of the kids are keto, and you make sacrifices for being able to go on a long walk or a bike ride. So I used to work out at the gym and I was two or three hours a day and everything else, but I could never break the 200 pound. Yeah. And when I, cause I was going to a doctor and it was his gym and he was the trainer. So you can't get more like prescribed. No, than exactly. That. And when I said, well, I don't understand. I've lost some weight, but I can't seem to lose any more. And he said, well, you just have to work out harder. Well, that was the end of it. I just quit. I thought, I can't, I can't work do more harder. than two hours. I'm retired and I'm living at the gym. Yeah. So that didn't work. So now that we're keto, Honestly, it's much simpler this year because usually it's you're catering to everybody's ice cream and cake and cookies and the dressing and all the rest of the stuff. And this year, it's going to be the easiest year ever. I'm using paper plates because right. the kids talk yes. me into it. I always set a beautiful holiday table with all of the... Everybody got their own little tiny salt shaker and it was beautiful. And you had, you know, a, a real cloth napkin. And then I would spend the next day or three doing the dishes. Yeah. And it, I was exhausted. And now it's like all about the family, which yes. I think is what right. it was about to start with. It not was. like, hey, what would be your last meal if you're on death row? Right. And right. like, we have to have it all <laughs> at that meal. Yeah. It's about like hanging out and we it usually is. play board games and right. hang Because out. what we used to do was you would eat, go into that turkey coma, yeah. And then have no contact with any of the rest of the family the rest of the day. <laughs> so you basically like, you better get a really warm greeting because right. that's about all that's you're getting. It. Exactly. So since we're together, we're about to head out the door. You have not tried the perfect keto cinnamon toast flavor. No. So I, I love the chocolate. Okay. And I use the the vanilla and the, the other one, but I've never tried salted caramel. So I've never tried this before. So here I we thought, go. get your reaction. Okay. All right, here we go. Wow. What do you think? That is very sweet and feels very thick. Feels very, very full, like it really is. Because I usually do chocolate because I'm a sweetaholic. Yeah. And so. Do you taste like a lot of cinnamon or have they made it? It's not just a cinnamon. No, it isn't thing. over the top cinnamon. I like cinnamon when I burn candles or whatever. I like the cinnamon smell because it reminds me of food. Right. <laughs> and, but yeah, that is really good. Yeah, I'd buy this. I'd actually pay for this. Yeah, you'd actually get it. Right, not just like come over and have some. And mm -hmm. and you always blend your coffee in a Vitamix too yes, to do. make it like super incorporated. Right, and I do use heavy whipping cream and I put different kinds of coffee I've tried and I thought I liked the flavored ones, but I bought some the other day from Big Lots and it had no flavor in it. And I thought, oh, I'll just try it. It was really good because, again, sweet person, I put stuff in it to really enjoy it because it is my breakfast. I do eat that and then I don't eat anything else until my evening meal. Right. So I feel like I'm 
need something and it's a treat. It I'm is not drinking it all day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's a treat. Yeah, it is. So it's very good. What's on our shopping list? Okay, I've got to get broccoli. Yeah. Because we're doing uh, loaded broccoli instead of potatoes. So I've got to get, and I'm getting shredded cheese. We did, last month I did hamburgers and Rachel shredded her hands shredding cheese. So I thought, <laughs> I think this time I will buy shredded cheese and sour cream and the bacon toppers. Right. And I'm also, along with the turkey, I'm doing... Um, hamburgers and hot dogs because I have a seven and a 12 year old grandson and they prefer they're hamburger. not that crazy about turkey and I do have a black stone I use that because I do tons of bacon because that's everybody's favorite. that's everybody's yeah, favorite. I bought like six pounds of bacon no kidding but you can do a lot on it and it turns out perfect yeah it's much better much easier I would definitely just get one to put bacon on if you bought one of those small ones even i feel like if you're trying to get somebody to go keto getting them to cook outside oh yeah is is a selling point because yeah. we don't like grease and splatter mm -hmm. in a messed up stinky hot kitchen no. especially in south florida no. so it was almost an obstacle to starting because you're like oh so much ago, grease when we lived and the other house in Coconut Creek when you kids were coming up. I don't know if you remember not. But I had a hot plate outside in the garage. Mm -hmm. Because I didn't want all of the smells in the house. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, I mean, when you're you're making that move from, like, a carb-rich diet mm -hmm. to where you could boil everything, like rice and potatoes, right. to something where you're eating a lot of butter and yeah. bacon grease and all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, the cleanup is, is a oh, daunting yeah. Prospect. All right, so let's head out to okay, Costco. I'm ready to go. Come on, let's go. So we are heading into Costco. Mom's trying to find her shiny new Costco card in her purse. And we are going to shop here differently than we do when we shop with Joe because we are not just hunting for stuff. We like to meander around and look at all of the pretties. You're doing your own cleaning of the buggies. Well, your mask game is super cute today, Miss Princesses. Yes, I love being a... That's what my name means. Yeah, oh, that's in true. Hebrew. Yeah, Sarah means princess. I am a princess, and I spell it the same way the Bible does, and it's my mother's mother's name. So you are all about the masks anyway. You're cool oh, with yeah. it. Oh, absolutely. I love it, If you're, especially if you're going into a bathroom perfect and I've always been a germaphobe so this this fits right in my wheelhouse so this is a good deal you think yeah 20 it bucks is. plus it's glass yeah and things last longer and taste better and you can wash it <laughs> we knock it over <laughs> it's okay go in the china shop here anyway this is a good price I paid more than for mine but you really do use each one of these to keep it clean and to cook on it. Well, this feels like a fine local grass-fed beef. How nice is that? It's raised and it's processed just a couple of miles from where we live. I like that. This is my least favorite section of the store to shop because it is freezing in here. That's why you wear a jacket. I'm officially old. Well, I knew that, well, what was your indicator? <laughs> oh, AARP mail. I thought you have to be 55. What are you doing? I am now sweeping because as much as I love my Dyson charge vacuum, it never has a long enough charge to do the whole house. <laughs> and I have to keep stopping because I have dog toys everywhere. As soon as I put it away, she gets it out of her toy bin and then puts it all through the house. <laughs> Why do you have to have such a mess? <laughs> she's bigger than you. I know, right? She'd be, she'd she's be a good a, dancing partner. I was going to say, she'd be a good, awesome dancing partner. Let's slow dance. This is like the fifth grade prom. <laughs> So what do you want to do? Do you want to do one meal or do you want to do two meals? Well, it's about 3.50 while we're debating what to have for food. 
but I feel like I might be hungry later in the day. So let's do two meals. Okay, so what do we want now? Do we want a burger and a couple of eggs? And then we'll do something else later and loaded broccoli later? Or do you want loaded broccoli now? I want loaded broccoli later. We're gonna start off with some bacon. This is our bacon and it's cut very thick. Since Rachel wants loaded broccoli tonight, we're gonna make up a couple extra so we can have some like bacon bits. So we're gonna let that go. Over here on the cooler side, we're gonna put the burger. Yeah. Now there's an egg. Boop, 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 hard. I overcooked mine just a little bit. Cause Perfect. I put the cover on top for you. Look at this, so bun. So we've got the unbuns. Unbuns. Plant-based, grain-free keto. Oops. Let's see about that. Anytime that it's usually labeled keto, it's not very keto. <laughs> Except for keto chow or keto bars. But yeah. a lot of times, keto-friendly, keto. usually not a good idea. This is a find. Limoncello. This stuff is awesome. It's LaCroix. It's like eating a lemon parfait. Yeah. They were buy one, get one free at Publix. So we like stocked up. I think we got like eight, 12 packs of just this flavor. So glad we did. So good. Look okay. at this thick bacon. So here's what we got. Do we want to taste it first? Do we want to do the ingredients first? No, let's taste it first. I'm just going to taste just it. Ooh, you buttered it. No, I didn't. That's bacon grease. Mmm. Wow. It tastes awesome. I mean, it's a bread holder. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's bread. It's definitely not white bread. It's not white bread. It and tastes a little vegetable -y. It tastes vegetable -y, but here's the thing. I'm sort of like, don't need it that much. It's not bad at all. Let me try it with a burger. That's a good idea. Nice mouthfeel. We did not get a, let me get a rag. So one bun, 280 calories, 20 grams of fat, 11 total carb, uh, 11 grams of protein, 15 grams of total carbohydrates, 10 grams of dietary fiber. So it's five net carbs. For the bun. But let's take a look at what the ingredients are. What is making it so high? Like, am I okay eating this? Yeah. Water, blanched almond flour, Pumpkin seed protein. Oh, wow. That's Coconut flour, psyllium husk, extra virgin olive oil, coconut milk, ground chia seeds, ground flax seeds, baking powder, cream of tartar, apple cider vinegar, and sea salt. So the ingredients are really good. Like, right. I'm okay with that. Like, I'm okay with, like, if, you know, whether you want to do total carbs or net carbs, like, these are good carbs. These yeah. aren't, like, bad carbs. And, like... I would probably, if you if you want to do a modification, maybe deduct half of them. Say your body may digest some of the fiber. Like Dr. Berry, so like a lot of that fiber does sneak in. So seven and a half, eight carbs, somewhere in there. That's not bad. That's terrible. I mean, because the rest of our food is zero carb. Yeah. So they're not bad. They're no, not bad. They're um, would you buy them again? How much were they? That's a, that's a big one. Okay. So I got them at Whole Foods. I think I paid seven dollars for four buns and the normal price is like nine dollars wow so that seems kind of it's expensive. up there in the same it's the same price as fox hill and everything else but you can get it locally that's nice and i do believe they have some kind of tortilla but i did could not find it i think just because it's in my mind would i would it be on my grocery list every single week no no i would buy them again especially because you can buy them local i wouldn't necessarily have one every week but like thanksgiving like tomorrow we're having turkey, I want a turkey sandwich. i might want a turkey sandwich yeah. or on actual thanksgiving we're just gonna have burgers it's a nice like treat thing but for the most part i enjoy burgers without the bread yeah once in a while i kind of want the bread feel and i would definitely turn to this if i don't have any fox hill kitchens i mean 
Foxo Kitchens is definitely up there for me. And then that new one that we tried, that white bread that we had, yes. that was really good. Um, so I would go there, but again, because I can get it local, I do like that. I like the fact that, hey, I don't yeah. have anything I can run down, but I wouldn't have one every day. It's not a knock on it, it's just me. I've been doing this for three years and I don't really need bread. Right, and so I don't really honestly want to work this crutch back into my daily routine if I've worked it out. Right. For me, I'm afraid that if I keep having a hamburger with bread every single time I have a hamburger, right. then it becomes like I've got to have it and now I need to budget for it. Yeah. And and also, I mean, 15 total carbs because we're total carb people. Do I want this to be a 15? Do I want every day or a couple times a week this to be 15 of it's, my total carbs? Even for me, it's kind of high at five net carbs because it's big. It's I, I'd like it to be half the width. Yeah. Like where, like if this was half the width and I was dealing with like two and a half total carbs or two and a half net carbs, I'd probably be a little bit better. But this is kind of big for me anyway. Like I would rather have, if I'm spending my carbs, I'd rather have more vegetables. Right. I'd probably do like a miracle rice mm -hmm. more often than I would do this. Okay. Yeah. Let's eat. So for those of you who want to know how easy is it to clean the Blackstone, here we go. We got everything on there. I'm going to take a scraper, take the oil, push it down into the bath. So that's step one. Now step two is wipe it down with paper towels. And I found these at Harbor Freight and it's much cheaper than paper towels and they last a lot longer. So I get these. It's like $7.50 for a refill for these. And now what I'm gonna do is I just take two or three of them and I wipe it down. Next, I take a little bit of water. Put it on there. Take my towel, wipe everything down. I usually keep the heat on like very low or just turn it off if I've had it running for a while. Now be careful, don't burn your hand. If it's a little too hot, you can just use like a little tool or something to wipe everything around. Now it is clean. What I like to do is one more step. I put a little bit more water and I take like just a cotton cloth These are like painter's rags and wipe it down one more time. So now that that's all done, I take just a little bit of oil and I'm gonna rub it in and re-season the grill. I really don't want much in here. It's just a little bit and the whole purpose of this is to prevent any rusting. What are you giving her? Some chicken decorative items. Tabitha, what are you doing? Look, she won't even take her eyes off of you. We're having some butternut squash. I have loved this fall decor outside of the chicken coop because every little bit, I just make them a pumpkin, make them a squash. But of course, if anybody's getting anything, she Are you wants seriously some. blowing on it for her? It's still a little bit warm and she does not want to wait. Oh my gosh. Let me see this. You need to learn how to feed the dog. Look at this baby. No, that's not how you do it. Give me that. You want me to throw it? Yes. She wants so, to catch it. As soon as I know it's safe. You ready? Here we go. Sit. Good job. She doesn't even swallow. She just swallows it. She doesn't even chew it. Down. She's gonna do the half down. Oh, she did it. Good job. Sit. Tabitha, good girl. She's like, wait, why are you talking to me? Better be careful, she'll take your hand off. No, she's very soft. Did you know she's getting from mommy? Down. 
<laughs> no. She cheated. She totally faked me out. Down. She has to kind of like let her legs go to the side, then it's a full down because she has to actually relax on them. Now it's time to give some butternut squash to the chicky babies and you've got to watch them run. They're probably over on this side and you can watch them run all the way around the pool. Oh no, they moved. They're waiting. They're like, oh, hello. Hi guys. Okay, guys, we got two pumpkins left. <laughs> Yummy squash. Are you happy? I'm happy because the babies are happy. One more baby that likes squash. <laughs> He's like, hey. hey. You're gonna eat it upside down? Yum. And that's how one butternut squash feeds an entire zoo. So what is going on with this air conditioner? Everything's all ready to go, but I don't have a vacuum pump and I don't have a meter. So we have to wait for a friend of ours who owns an AC company and he's gonna come and like, you know, vacuum out and the system and then release the Freon. So hopefully, fingers crossed, Tomorrow night, we'll have AC again. Well, it is a good thing because me and the ladies are very hot. <laughs> well, you are hot, but that's a, that's not the kind of hot I think you're talking no, about. it's the sweaty hot. You have some candy balls as well. I love oh, you, no editing way. Joe. It's really nice of you. Here's yeah. what we got. We got another burger. Then we have, this is loaded broccoli. We're going to thank Chris from Keto Chow for turning us on to this. Like, they make it at... Roadhouse for us, Texas Roadhouse. Roadhouse. But we've been making it at home, and I love it. It's funny that we're like, oh, we can only have that at the restaurant. Yeah. No, we can eat that at home. Fresh broccoli to just, like, under crunchy. Like, not over crunchy, not under, perfect. In a microwave, four minutes in a steam-covered thing, right? Yeah. No sour cream, though. We're not using sour cream. We're using yogurt. We're using 2KK yogurt. That's what we're using. Wow. It tastes just as good as sour cream. It's oh. just as thick as sour cream. It's very manly how you said that. And then we've got bacon on top of that. And we're on top of lettuce. We're not using a bun. Sorry, Christopher. Okay. We want to talk about the unbun. Yes. We, we ate it for lunch. Yeah, we had it for lunch. and we It were, tastes good. It Honestly, it tasted okay. Well, that's what I was going to say. It tastes good, like okay good. It was a little more vegetable-y than normal it tasted like there i mean and it wasn't a vegetable it wasn't like it was made out of zucchini no there's no vegetables in it i got one right here there's no vegetables in this at all but it tasted vegetable-y but it got us thinking after we finished and i probably wouldn't buy these again and here's why and i know people like them i mean and they are convenient yeah but i got to thinking and one of my things was it's kind of high so this is one mm -hmm. and here's a fox hill kitchen one and the video is not sponsored by fox hill kitchen so they're about the this one is taller but this one is wider right so it covers the whole burger so about the same however 15 total carbs or five net carbs okay? right okay so here's here's the thing buns are a treat for us when we have buns they're a treat they're kind of they get lumped into today's going to be a net carb day right that's when we have our dessert day it's a net carb day because I, I can count on the carbs, the, the fiber that's in here. Like, I know, psyllium husk, okay if you want to subtract that. Yeah. Coconut, okay if you want to subtract that. We're not talking about soluble corn fiber or IMO fiber or any of that stuff. Good, healthy, God-made carbs. Right. Right? God-made. So, that's how I treat a bun. This, same size bun, pretty much. And Sorry. actually, this is 64 grams and so this one's 80. So this one actually they say weighs more. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't necessarily mean it's a good thing. This is 11 total carbs. Total. Okay. This is 154 calories. This one is 280, 280 calories. So this is double the calories if you want to get into calorie counting. But 11 total to 15, not so bad. But if you're a net person, again, when we're doing this, we're getting in the net. This is only one net carb. 
it's 10 grams of fiber because, and the fiber again, that is in the Fox Hill kitchen one is egg whites. That's not a fiber, obviously, but coconut flour, almond flour, psyllium husk powder, and then avocado oil. So they only have the psyllium husk, the avocado, the almond flour, and the coconut flour. Whereas here they're adding ground flaxseed and they're adding cream of tartar and they're adding chia seed. And again, nothing wrong with them. I prefer the taste of this. And here's my thing. And maybe you feel differently. Maybe you feel differently. But if I'm going to have a net carb day and I'm going to blow carbs, okay. I don't want to blow five carbs on a bun. Well, what, the, what I'm thinking... <laughs> and I'm just talking net. I don't want to blow five net carbs on a bun. What I'm thinking is the holiday shop when you were a little kid. And your mom would give... Well, she, my mom would give me... Five dollars and my brother five dollars and and we have the same store to shop from how are you gonna spend your five dollars and yeah I'm I may spend it differently some mm -hmm. people are like hey I want a bun for me sometimes unless it is just a super tasty bun like to me Fox Hill kitchens is a super tasty bun or that one that we even tried the other day that bread yeah great awesome awesome stuff then I will spend my carbs there it's got to be really tasty and delicious because for a burger, I don't mind wrapping it in lettuce. I don't mind wrapping it in like the homemade cheese wrap, the folio cheese thing that you do. Right. I don't mind spending my carbs and like sprinkling the burger with like crackers, right. like your cheese crackers if I want a different texture with my hamburger. Right. So that's, I would just rather spend it on cottage cheese right. or, or someplace else. Because for me, like when we do, car when we do a net carb day, we, we generally stay at 20 total carbs, um, we try to stay at 20 total carbs. When we do a net carb day, like on a dessert day kind of treat kind of day, we go to 20 net carbs, but no more than 30 to 40 total carbs. I don't want to spend five. I, if I'm going to spend five carbs on something, five net carbs on something, I'd rather have I some ice broccoli. cream. I'd rather have broccoli. I'd rather have some fat snacks, cookies. Make a mug cake. A perfect keto bar or our cinnamon roll mug cake recipe, which I mean, that's high in total carbs but low in net carbs and it's like got a decent amount of calories because it's fatty but i just i wouldn't spend five net carbs on this it's not that it's bad but if you're not getting them on sale it's pretty close in price to fox hill kitchen yeah so i mean on sale yeah they're cheaper but not on sale they're pretty close in price true so okay and for dessert by the way speaking of dessert we've got some good culture cottage cheese now this, I would have every day. But this is only three total carbs. But I feel like... And I feel like it's a dessert. There's a lot of flavor. Yeah. Now, so, maybe you're a, not a dairy person, but that's, that's, a, that's another story. So, yeah. This is going to be our dinner. That's going to be today's vlog. Okay. I got a lot accomplished today. I got my bike rack on, so we got a lot accomplished. You went shopping for Thanksgiving. We got Thanksgiving taken care we of. We got our air conditioner 75% in. You played with office. the dogs. You cleaned the chicken coop. Man. Anthony and I drove to Miami. We're good. Getting ready for my 50th birthday. AARP sent me a thing saying you're old now. My mail is confused. I, in the same week... It offered to allow me to join you with me for 20 so bucks. So sweet. I got AARP magazine <laughs> and Similac. <laughs> so they don't know what to do with me yet. Well, that's going to be today's video. Do us a favor, check out some of the other full day of eating videos that we have linked right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna link right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel, click the little bell icon, that way every single time we eat something delicious, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.